Hey you guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be cutting back this Brugmansia and I'm going to be putting it into the garage. It's going to need a huge haircut because I'm going to be trying to shove it into a pot this big. Uh, the plant itself is probably nine feet tall right now and uh, I'm going to try to put it into this. Uh, I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer uh, so that you can see uh, what I can see and then I will start uh, pruning it back and uh, Actually, I'll start pruning it back now, because why not? We got a, uh, a light frost last night, that's why I'm going to be bringing this in today. I've got my loppers, I just bought the, these for that purpose. These are Scott's brand, and it clicks between ratcheting and, uh, and just regular um, loppers. So I could get those uh, harder wood cuttings a lot better. So, I'm just going to go through and trim down these branches. I don't really want very much left. Because as you know, I'm moving in the spring and uh, this is going to have to be moving in my car. So I can't leave it as tall as I would like to leave it. I've got to bring it back really, really small. Um, and as you can see here, there's all kinds of little growths. I'll bring you in a little closer in a second. And uh, all of these little growths will, uh, will branch out and, and uh, make it look like I never even pruned it next spring. So I'm just going to trim off all of this uh, craziness and bring you in a little closer. Okay, so as you can see, down near the base, uh, as, as tall as this plant gets, it really does uh, branch out really, really easily. Uh, in the older wood, there's all kinds of spaces here that, that have... Uh, sprouted new growth like right here all the way along this stem so this plant could be pruned back really really hard and uh, and not even skip a beat so that also means that I can prune the roots down really really small um, as long as I, I do the the proper top to bottom ratio the the proper amount of upper growth to the supporting root uh, level as well this uh, this uh, base is probably about five inches across, which is absolutely amazing for uh, for the season. I will be trimming just a little bit more off the top, but I just wanted to bring you in and show you uh, how well this thing grows. And uh, if I was uh, uh, looking to make all kinds of cuttings, uh, soon will be the time I could probably take some cuttings and root them in the basement. But uh, I don't have space uh, at the moment, but at the new house I will probably end up doing that. I'll probably end up having a little bit of a sale um, sometime after I move, just to uh, just have a little bit of fun. I really miss propagating for fun because I haven't had the space. So anyway, let's just get to it. We'll dig this thing out and uh, try to put it in its pot. Okay, so I hope you're able to see I've got rose bushes in the way, but uh, I'm going to try to cut through these big roots gonna it's gonna be a, a chore and a half because they've gotten quite large over the season but this thing grows really really fast so uh, with fast growing plants the root structure as well as the branching tends to be really soft so there shouldn't be much problem looks more overwhelming than it is and I'm gonna be breaking a lot of these roots but they will branch out quickly and, and start feeding the plant again. But this plant is gonna be going dormant in the basement, so, or not in the basement, in the garage. So it's not gonna really be growing anyway. As you can see, we've got a nice root system here. Just going to be pruning this away. Just to make space in the pot. There we go. So let's go over and, and check out the pot and where we're going to plant it. Okay, so this plant will fit in this pot just fine. With the trimmed roots, it's going to be a nice snug fit. So now, I'm just going to put some soil in the bottom of the pot. 
I'm just using a regular all-purpose potting soil. This is a peat-based soil. And there's some perlite in it. It's the same thing I use for all of my containers and house plants and stuff like that. So now I'm just going to plop it in here. Now I'm going to fill around it with some extra soil. It'll like this. And I will water it in. Uh, because the regular daytime temperature is uh, going to still be above freezing, I will have it out through the day. And on the nights that we get frost, I will be putting it into the garage. And it's going to be a constant in and out, in and out, until we start to get steady cold temperatures through the day. Uh, if I was to leave this in the garage, the garage gets quite warm and uh, the plant will try to grow. There's no sun in the garage, so uh, that's not something I want to have happen. It'll end up uh, uh, burning itself out and not having any light. It's just going to die. It's going to rot. So I'm going to keep, like I said, putting it outside during the day when it's, when it's warm and then keeping it inside when there's a risk of frost or freezing temperatures. And then... Uh, yeah, just uh, making sure the plant is well looked after. It's going to start producing roots in here. It's going to try to grow. It's going to do its own thing. And then once the, the temperatures are cool enough, it should stop growing in the garage and just be fine. So anyway, uh, stay tuned for more updates on this one. Do you uh, bring in your Brugmansia over the winter? If so, what is your plan of attack for yours? Next year, I hope to just grow mine in a pot so I don't have to deal with digging it out of the ground. Uh, that's a big task, so normally I would just probably trim it back, put it in the garage, and leave it for spring, and then roll it back out in the, the spring, uh, and then uh, let it do its thing. Uh, but this time, it's a little bit more involved. So anyway, until next time, you guys, happy growing. It's got some, uh, some yucky pictures, but it's also got some nice new pictures, so it's doing okay. This one's just opening up. Uh, once I take it inside, it will produce less pitchers, but it does go right on the uh, right attached to the grow light, so 